Rebecca has been invited to the translocation of six wild Arabi across the Arabi Gorge on the Guazulu Natal South Coast. These animals will also help with her research. Today is a positive day for conservation. It will be the first time in 70 years that Arabi have set foot on the southern side of the aptly named gorge. The surrounding landowners are swapping six Arabi for a dozen or more reedbuck. It's costly and challenging work, but for many, well worth it if it will increase the Arabi's range. Only 600 of the 2,500 remaining animals in South Africa live today in official reserves and parks. The rest are in the hands of private custodianship. While many irresponsible farmers still plant up much of the Arabi's preferred mist belt grassland habitat, others are doing everything in their power to make a difference. And it is with these kind of landowners that the species stands the greatest chance of survival. Making things even more difficult for Arabi conservation, the Kazerin population has already been determined as more than one subspecies. As a result, capture and release programs in the future need to take this into cognizance. Future Fountain Hill Arabi, for instance, if they were to be released elsewhere, should not be released too far from their natal range. Guazila Natal has three distinct subpopulations, one in the north of the province, one in the Midlands, and one stretching south to East Griqualand. Where these populations divide is still unclear. <laughs>